In this video, we're going to take a look at the library tab of Myriad. This is where all of your songs and also all of your links that you categorized using uh, Myriad AutoTrack, the music and link scheduling software, this is where they will appear and you can take a look at them. You can uh, select to see all of the items in your A, B and C list down here just by clicking on it. You can also expand that out to show your types in there as well. So we've got our types we can see and we can also go down to all artists and then that way we can click on an artist and it will show us all of the songs that we have in the database by that artist and it doesn't matter what category they are in. We've got the same four links here so we can see all of our links, all of our dry sweepers, promos, news, weather etc. We can go in and uh, visualise and see what else we have set so there's the bed and there's the weather out kind of thing. So that's a way of quickly navi navigating around. We can go to all categories, can go to all songs, and uh, we can uh, sort by artists, sort by t uh, artist and title, put it into alphabetical order. So we can see here we can scroll in alphabetical order uh, up to the top. You can do it by year, category, type basically click on any of these to sort along so we can uh, sort by length and uh, see what we've got there. Also you have the ability to click on a song and see when it was most recently played. So we can see it was a while ago that this one was played and uh, nothing in the hour, nothing, it's all fine. Whereas if you if we find a song that's been played recently you'll see a big red mark against it uh, to say that it's been played recently. So we played this one today at 11.37. So it's just saying, and then the next play, uh, it's saying that the, the artist was most recently played at 11.37 as well. So that's the song, and then that's the artist. So it just gives you a warning that it's been played kind of recently, and you might want to uh, steer clear of it. So it's very, very useful little window down there, especially if um, there's not much overlap between presenters. You can uh, see and make sure that you're not overloading the listener with the same track. That's if you're kind of freestyling your music choice. So that's a quick way of navigating stuff. You can do searches for bits and pieces. So if we go back up to all songs here and uh, do our favorite Kylie search, then it will bring up those Kylie tracks and it remembers your last searches as well. So we can go back here to all items and do another search. That one prompts to find. You can print out the list of the results as well if you wanted to. Got the ability to search notes and search the copyright as well. And you can also search the title, artist and year. Now we have quite a few um, all from the same year, but um, if you've categorized your library better, so we've got three here from 2011, which means that up here we could type in 2011 and it will just show stuff with the year 2011 in it, which is uh, rather handy. And you can see now it's remembered our searches here if we go back to all items. So that's there, search title, search artist, search year. We've got our song categories here. We can uh, see our song search results down here. And uh, that is the uh, library view. Other things to be aware of, you can uh, highlight a song and click on details that will bring up the details of the song any schedule warnings as well it'll also show you some scheduling history as well uh, you can preview drags it down into a cart player with a preview over it and it means that you can click on it and uh, have a listen to the track see how, see what it sounds like you can queue it so queue it for live playout and again it's ready for you to play down there or you can highlight it and you can go to edit and that will bring up smooth edit and enable you to change some details and to change the intro and extra point things like that on there if you double click on the item uh, then it will bring up the card all about it if you click on the speaker then it will queue the item up into the next available card player so uh, that's a very quick way of being able to do it one other thing worth mentioning is that if you're not using AutoTrack and you're using just uh, Instant Track as part of Myriad, the categories displayed here will be the categories that you've added in as part of Smooth Edit and the categories that you've done there. But the moment that you start using AutoTrack, then it automatically send through the AutoTrack categories and it will refer to those. And that is the Library tab.